Right, well, let's have a look at the menus in the Fuji cameras. Then we have our dynamic range. You can have it on auto, where the camera will decide which dynamic range to have. Or you can have it 100, 200 or 400. On 400 you need, on the later Fuji cameras, an ISO of 600 or more. Got dynamic range priority. So you can have that on auto, strong or weak. So it'll change how much of the dynamic range it's going to uh, affect. Then you've got your tone curve. So this is like a tone curve in your editing software. So you can take the highlights up or bring them down. And you can do the same with the shadows. Bring the shadows up or take them down. 